it's uh, very rare that I've got a real uh, live bona fide veteran NFL player sitting in the seat as mm-hmm. a major rule change in the NFL has just been approved by league uh, membership. So um, both teams now required to touch the football mm-hmm. in overtime. Do you like that, Michael Brockers? I think I do. I think I do. Um, I think I don't think it has anything to do with, you know, not has anything to do with, but it doesn't do anything for the Bills. Uh, this year, Correct. you know, I know, I know they got it changed. It might, might ha- you know, work for them in the future. But I mean, for me, I like it. I like it. You know, both teams get to have their offense, especially in a situation like that. You get high explosive offenses. They just go back and forth. That's what the fans love to see. So I, I guess I'm mandated to ask you this question. Then is in your now ten full years in the NFL, mm-hmm. entering your eleventh, have you ever been involved in a game where it went to overtime? And you didn't. Your team didn't get a chance to to win the game after the other team scored a touchdown first to just end it, or even a field goal back in the day. Has that ever happened to you? I've I've tied twice in my <laughs> career, so that's crazy. I've tied twice, so okay. I've been through that moment. You leave the game, and it's like that's it, limbo. Yeah, you feel like you're in limbo. You're like, we didn't lose, but we didn't win as well so it, it's a it's it's weird it's a weird fit so that's a tie but you've mm-hmm. never been in a situation where you know you're you're out th- so i guess the situation would be you'd be the one out there on the field mm-hmm. and then your offense would be just like okay i guess we don't get a chance today right that's that's never happening never i don't think it happened How about I, that? Mean, I, haven't. I don't i don't remember i don't remember i know i've been been a part of two ties I just don't remember when we went into overtime a couple, you know, this is like my rookie year and we're going against San Fran. And I just, I just remember us losing, uh, not losing, but we didn't make the field goal to win the game. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't recall who had the ball first or who would not. But see the, the issue I have with this new construct in overtime, Michael Brockers of the Lions here in the, in studio on the Rich Eisen show is now the team that gets it second, Mm -hmm. right? I think you're going to want the ball second in overtime now. You mm-hmm. win the toss. Wouldn't you want to know? Again, you play defense, so I, right. I, I guess this is you're on the other side of the coin, for the mm-hmm. lack of a better phrase here. But, you know, wouldn't you want your team to go second? Because you'd want to know offensively mm-hmm. what you have to do in order to win. I mean, I, right? I think that gives you a little bit of advantage, especially if you see the other team go for one point instead of two or – goes for now you know they go for two now you have to go for two I think you know going second gives you a little bit of an advantage especially if you see the other team and what they do first what about defensively what would you as a defensive player want to do get get out there first and let your team know what you have to what they have to do Mm -hmm. and and keep it to zero or three obviously Mm -hmm. not seven and even worse eight right Mm -hmm. or would you want to know you know, what your offense has already done and what you have to do defensively. How would that change, do you think, defensively, the approach of overtime, Michael I don't know. That is, now that you say that, it's weird because now I'm thinking like, okay, I get on the field first. Now I put myself in that scenario. I get on the field first and um, we stop them. You know, usually you feel like, okay, that's it. You know, we kick a field goal, it's over. And now it's like, okay, they we go first, they score Mm-hmm. We now we have to go back, you know. If they go for one, if they go for two, right now we have to go back, and the offense has to go down. And then you think about okay, they go down the score, we have to do this all over again. Like, does it stop? <laughs> you know? no, it, then it would be then it would then it would be old fashioned. Okay, uh, okay, then it goes death. okay, right. But I'm just because I think we're onto something here because this is fascinating to me because yeah. if you're def- if you're part of the defense that goes second, now, mm-hmm. right? Okay, so your your team. Let's just say your team offensively let's say jared goff and the mm-hmm. lions get the ball first and score a touchdown yeah now you as a lions defender michael brockers mm-hmm. would be going against the team that's a screw it fourth down doesn't matter for my own eight exactly. my own 18 we we have to go <laughs> right so i would imagine that would you'd be playing four downs every single moving of the chains if that happens exactly that's what i would think you know it's four down territory all the way down the field because they know they have to score they don't School, if they is, don't move the chains, is there's they lose the game. Is that better for you? Do you think? What do you um, think? Now I understand you're a player and you just got to play it I down know, a that's distance what I'm with, like thinking within like, its own box. But as a because that changes so much for you, I'd imagine. 
if you're defending that situation. Uh, if you're I'm defending it, somebody player, doesn't as care. As a player, I'm thinking about what are we calling? Are we calling pressures? Are we calling just defense, you know, let everything happen in front of you? What are we doing? You know, because I'm like, I'd rather pressure, get it out the quarterback hands fast. Let us rally to the ball, stuff like that. But in a situation where you're like, it's do or die. You don't want to, you don't want to pressure and give up a big play. And now, you know, you have to redo that 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 whole scenario over again. So I don't know. That's weird. You know what I mean? It would be going against a team that just uh, an offense that has no tomorrow. Right. They're living for the moment every single down, as opposed to if you're the def- defense that goes first, you know, you're going against a team that might have to hedge their bets a little bit mm-hmm. on a fourth down and you know, in no man's land and things like that. Right. That's one thing you don't want to go against somebody backed into a wall. You know, they got to fight their way out, way out. So it's like, you don't know what to expect. You know, they can, the, the book is open for them, you know? Well, I guess, Michael Brockers, this would be a high class problem to have since it's in the playoffs. You <laughs> right. take that. You take just, you, you take making the playoffs right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.